Okay, that took a lot more work to get sorted out than I would have liked. I gotta f sort all this stuff. I think I will just start recording now. I do have to figure out where I'm gonna put the ad timer. So yeah, let's, let's get in there and, and see if I can figure out a good spot for that. New game.
YouTube and Twitch, and welcome to uh, Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. I've, for almost a decade now, been fascinated with one of the mechanics in this game. In Dark Souls 2, enemies respawn on a limited supply, about 15 times before they despawn. And in Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13, there is an achievement for causing an extinction event, in which enemies have limited respawns, and you kill every single enemy in the game. So, uh, why not do that in Dark Souls 2, which has the same mechanic? Uh, bonus, cannot light a bonfire until every enemy between the previous bonfire and the current bonfire have been despawned. So, we got uh, about 15 spawns and things betwixt here. Let me go get some weapons. I'll be back for you guys in a second. Also, uh, I haven't played this game in a while. I meant to play it yesterday and then just uh, spent the day playing Mass Effect 2. I want the ring on the other side of this dude. Hey, Big McLarge. I don't remember where the ring was now. Definitely not off that game. Yeah, I mean, why not? It's a Dark Souls game. Why not make it harder for yourself? Oh, it's down here. It's also not a ring. So, that's run... That's interact. Shit, cutscene. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> what is your name? We have technology. It's a human effigy. 
into your past. Yes, it's an effigy of you. Remember who you are, Simba. It's Dark Souls 2. You gotta pick Swordsman to make use of the best mechanic. Uh, life Ring. Healing Wares. Homeward Bone! Uh, let's take Petrified something. Yep, sure. It's not letting me advance the menus, the other ones. Come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You'll lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. Petrified something is for gambling. I have swords. Sword. Other sword. <laughs> Game's like, hey, you can't block. Hey, who needs to block? This is a Dark Souls game. Blocking's for babies. These are for gambling. Uh, that's for leaving. That's for getting rid of a. Okay. So big, big, large troll here only needs to die once before it despawns. We have half of our health. What could go wrong? Hello, big, big, large troll. Well, we're dead. What buttons roll? <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. That's the button I hit. I didn't roll. I just kind of like... Hopped backwards, but no, I just turned around. Whatever. Gotta kill these guys 15 times anyway.
Yeah, slightly better than last time. Again, gotta kill those monkeys 15 times before we can move on. So us dying to this troll 15 times? Oh, that just helps the cause. Not the attack you punish. Oops. Yeah, so you don't punish him the, the three swing. Okay. Yeah, you need him to do the fall down or the sit. Because he is surprisingly speedy. Also resistant to slash damage, which is why we have the poker. Oh, two-handed still stabs. Okay. much better. Heavy poke. Slash. We're learning. There's the jump button. Okay. Man, we ever get to Majula, we're gonna have so many souls. Hope you in the box. ring. Reduce uh, additional reduction of enemy poise. Yeah, sure. Okay, so he never respawns. So we're free of him forever. Back at the end of the game, I don't remember where the trigger is. She gives you a spoon. Very good item, actually. She just gives you a spoon. Hello, bonfire. Ah, uh, for a while there, the spoon was one of the strongest weapons in the game due to absurd scaling on luck. This is just a compulsion. This is the room that gave this run a lot of pause on what the rules are. 
Because I can't kill everything in this room. Because I need a fragrant branch of yore. So... How do you proceed with that logic? I can't light the bonfire in Majula because I haven't killed everything in this room because I need a fragrant branch of yore. So, uh, that's the logic. But you do get to show off one of the fun mechanics in this game. Uh, in this room. This game really likes light. Hello, Shrek and Fiona. Yeah, the, there are two ogres down there. One of them you can't see because they're behind the ramp. Uh, they have been named Shrek and Fiona. It's just like, and The best renaming of something still goes to Ornstein and Smo. And that goes all the way back to the zero punctuation for Dark Souls 1. Nah, it's Ornstein and Twat. Titanite shard. Yes, yes. Here, have this, uh, just fossil of turd. Petrified dragon bone. I could, in theory, trade that back to them. Um, but Petrified Dragon Bone is used for something. Yeah, it's an upgrade material. But they will also take it for, uh... Trading. Okay, now let's see if I can show off this mechanic. I don't remember where the first one is, but I know it's in here. Oh, you have to be careful. If you light every torch sconce in things betwixt, it summons an invader. But, uh, not concerned about that. I just have this weird relationship in this game with wanting to light every single torch sight. Like, there's no good reason behind it.
it up here? It might be up here. No. Okay, put the torch away for now. You know, it's rounding math. 25% of 400 is 100. So it's rounding math. This is without a doubt one of my favorite places to die. It's just picking up that. The game will eat one of those two inputs and I'll either run into the pit and die or make the first jump and then run into the pit and die. Try plunging attack. Or don't. Also, uh, one of my other favorite things, try knocking. There's a door in... the first part of the critical path. If you go the way the game wants you to go, there's a locked door, and... There's no key for it in the entire game, and it's a metal door, so you can't break it. But you can knock. And if you knock, someone opens the door. And by, if you knock, someone opens the door. I mean, if you knock, like, five dudes come walking out of there. There's an absolute sausage fest in that room. You know. Five guys, no burgers or fries. Just dudes. I believe... Getting a little fuzzy. I don't see anything on my end. Oh, right, the invader is now locked behind a fragrant branch of yore. Okay. Standing is fine, running is fuzzy. Oh, yeah, I see it on my end.